Okay, this is my spoiler review of The Flash. If you haven't seen The Flash yet, go check it out right now. Without further ado, let's get into this, shall we? Let's. Are you ready? Ready. Let's go. The Flash. The Flash ain't doing so hot in theaters right now. Nice. Yeah, I kind of see why. There's a lot of things I dislike about this movie. A lot of things, but I still find the overall experience fun. But the main problem is, this movie oddly feels like the Josh Sweden Justice League movie. That's what this movie feels like to me. Mother, millennia in exile, searching at last. Look at this dude. <laughs> Stop it. Get some help. And the director of this movie made several, several stupid calls. Like, the reason why he didn't want Grant Gustin in the movie, Grant Gustin was never asked to be in this movie. It's because Andy Muschietti, the director of this movie, wanted other superheroes be in this movie. You're telling me you couldn't get Grant Gustin, the dude who popularized this character as a cameo? He showed up- I mean, Ezra Miller showed up in Crisis. You couldn't get Grant Gustin? Instead, we get cartoon figures of Christopher Reeve. We get Nicolas Cage. We get Adam West. We get the very, very first TV appearance of Superman. Like, we get these CGI'd cutouts of these other heroes, and it looks god-awful. It looks like I'm playing the Injustice video game. That's how bad it looks. Director says that he wanted it done purposely like that. First of all, you're disrespecting Christopher Reeve and all these other past icons. Second of all, just use archival footage. Third of all, that's no excuse to make the CGI look that bad. Literally, making it look uh, that way on purpose? No! Like, what if Avengers Endgame CGI came out that bad? How would people react to it? Some of the CG is used amazingly. It doesn't look real, but it looks great. There are instances where CGI looks totally fake, but is used really good. This is one of them where they're exploring this chronobull and it's touching on the concept of Barry time traveling. The way this comes out is creatively unique. This chronobull, they call it, is like Flash is running and it shows the past around him, shifting in different levels. And I really like that concept. And the way they explain the multiverse. I really like how they explain the multiverse in it. It's like a bowl of spaghetti. And Michael Keaton said it best in this as well. Like, all the Flash story elements are there. And I also like how they go the origins of Flash twice, actually. This is why I gave this movie a B-. It's because the stories, the story is there. The story is good. It has heart. When Barry goes back in time and says goodbye to his mom one last time, it has that heart, it has that feel, that emotion. It's there. It's just everything surrounding the story, the weird elements in the movie. Like, for example, at the beginning where Ezra Miller puts a baby in a microwave. Why are we still here? Just to suffer. Why would you do that? Why would you do any of that? Andy, 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 baby, boo boo, you made a great it movie. The follow up, not so much, but you made a great it movie. What movie did you show James Gunn exactly that warrants them hiring you for Batman Brave of the Bold? When Batman is on screen and stopping the Falcons, great callback by the way. It's awesome. I really love the Batman stuff on this. And there's some weird choices made throughout this movie and I don't get it whatsoever. Let's talk about the main villains of this movie. The main villains of this movie, seeing General Zod, 
loved it loved it loved it that was awesome and seeing what they did with the final battle and how they build up the main villain that way is awesome because the final battle is they pull of doctor strange they go back in time and try to stop batman and supergirl from dying past barry allen is the main villain and it's really awesome because it's savitar i am savitar i don't care it's not dark flash people savitar he has the scar and everything it is savitar come at me internet come at me tell me five reasons why it's not savitar this is savitar Barry Allen in the TV show is Savitar. Barry Allen in the movie, this is a live action appearance of Savitar. Savitar is my personal favorite Flash villain. He doesn't look as cool as the TV show. I love the TV show's Savitar's look. I love that armor. It, it's still awesome seeing Savitar on the big screen, even if it is for like five seconds. Let's talk about the ending of this movie. Good. God, this was insulting to Snyderverse fans. Look, I really like Ben Affleck as Batman. He's one of my favorite Batmans ever. And they literally erased Ben Affleck's Batman and put George Clooney in it. Hi, Freeze. I'm Batman. They put George Clooney as this new Snyderverse Batman. Like, that's genuinely insulting for DC, the Snyderverse fans got me upset and i guarantee you it got my entire theater upset too because when those credits rolled it was dead silent man genuinely really dead silent and overall this movie the reason why i gave it the grade i did is because it still has a great story and great acting great performances but they genuinely lied to us about this movie they said this would be a great movie fulfilling several several promises about about the future of dc and about wrapping up the snyderverse and about giving fans a great goodbye when it's just flipping the bird to us fans and just giving us mediocre trash when you could gr watch a better flashpoint storyline with the actual tv show I feel like they just wanted to put this movie out just to put it out and it's very disappointing but those are my final thoughts on flash what do you guys think about it in the comments down below that's all for this time punch out like button face like boss see you guys in the next show bye bye